Hello everyone, we will continue with the pickle characteristics of clothing. So, we are discussing uh, different uh, aspects of clothing uh, prickle sensations. There are uh, different uh, factors which affect the prickle sensation. As we have mentioned that, that uh, the prickle sensation is uh, it is not the single prick point sensation, it is a summation of number of prick uh, sensation of pain group of nerves which is necessary to have prickle sensation. Okay. So, and uh, fabric evoked prickle sensation is uh, it is a low grade activity of nausea receptor. It is not the very high damaging uh, activity, it is a low grade activity and also this is actually it is a the stimulation should be total activity, total force should be around more than 75 milligram force uh, altogether and by the protruding fibers. So, and to have the prickle sensation minimum number of high load bearing fiber ends should be there there are no minimum number of fibers concentration should be there and minimum area of contact should be there. Suppose, with the small patches, small patch I am some very harsh fiber is in touch, we will not have the prickle sensation. There has to be a minimum area of the and also certain number of minimum number of fibers. Suppose, fiber very high load bearing fibers or with a very less or in number or pricking will not prick sensation, but we will get something else some other sensation, but definitely we will not get prick sensation. So, to have prickle sensation we need minimum number of high load bearing uh, fiber ends okay, are required. So, that is what is that? So, it should be less than 3 per 10 centimeter square if it is there. Okay. So, then the prickle of fiber could not be sensed. So, minimum there has to be more than 3 fibers per 10 square centimeter that many numbers of fibers should be it may be more than that, but if there are one or two fiber it has been observed that will not get prickle sensation even if there are it is a harsh fiber it is a but will not prickle sensation. And also the minimum contact area of the skin has to be 5 centimeter square 5 centimeter below 5 centimeter square will not have prick. So, even a particular we can see that a particular patch with the say prickled uh, five prickle uh, fiber surface if small say 1 centimeter patch we are putting somewhere we will not get prickle sensation. So, there has to be minimum certain uh, value okay. if it is more than that we will get start getting prickle sensation. So, two main conditions are there one is the there are three conditions the fiber has to have uh, minimum load bearing then number of fiber should be there per unit area and also the minimum contact area then only we will get prickle sensation. Okay. This is the minimum requirement okay. and these are the two. and then the it has been observed that male has got less prickle sensation than the female okay. because it is a male has got higher threshold higher threshold of sensation more variation to the sensitive sensitivity of the prickle. So, then it is a female this means that female skins are more sensitive toward the towards the prickle sensation okay and this is related to the feature of the skin okay it has also been observed that with the increase in age people feels less and less prickle sensation the skin actually its outermost skin get harder and harder hardness of the skin increases okay so the prickle sensation gets reduced. 
which means the sen uh, sensation sensitivity decreases with the age. So, due to this that uh, the uh, child feel higher quickness than uh, aged person okay, while touching with the same type of fabric. Okay. So, that we have to be very careful while designing the children's clothing. Okay. This type of clothing we have to avoid for children okay. and then the free nerve bendings which sense the pain are generally located very close to the surface that we have seen. This type of prick pain, prickle pain we sense they are very close to the sensation where the hairs are there, hair is skin desired. But this type of prickles sensation that type of uh, sensors, mechanical sensors are absent in glabrous uh, skin that means, where the uh, without uh, hairs like uh, palm, feet and all this. So, uh, this type of sensors are absent in uh, glabrous uh, skin which means, it is hairless, it is found in palm or sole of the foot. That means, we do not feel any prickle sensation in palm, same fabric if we touch, even all other conditions of uh, uh, density of uh, hairs or num uh, amount of uh, layer area of contact area or every all the sensations all the parameters are there, still we do not feel prickle sensation in the palm because of the absence of this type of sensors. We normally feel uh, this type of sensation with the sensations with the our uh, other hair uh, uh, skin portion where it is a uh, hairs are there. So, uh, feet, finger, palm, so this type of prickle sensation we do not feel. Okay. It has also been observed that in hot and humid environment we feel prickle sensation. Same fabric is not giving prickle sensation in cold climate, but we uh, we get feel prickle feeling in the at the hot and humid climate why because in hot and humid climate our outermost skin that is the epidermis uh, which is a dead cell gets softened it gets gets uh, which is called uh, known as stratum corneum it gets wet at humid humid high humidity or sweating and then it gets uh, softened and the hairs can easily penetrate through that, that high load bearing fiber ends can easily penetrate through this uh, and uh, through this portion and gives prickle sensation by exciting this type of nerve endings. So, that means, the prickle sensation is more in humid hot and humid condition and prickleness sensitivity it increases with the temperature particularly from say uh, 10 to 12 degree celsius to 30 to 32 degree celsius. So, this sensitivity increases with the increase in ambient temperature in there. why because as the temperature increases due to our due to our body physiology our body starts releasing the sweat and gets, uh, the skin gets wet and our sensitivity increases. Okay. The increase in skin moisture content due to perspiration. So, as in skin moisture content increases and so again we have discussed it gets softened and we get this type of sensation. Now, one uh, specific study which is conducted with the different type of fabric just to know the difference in prickle sensation okay. and using the uh, rating scale. The rating scale we have discussed in earlier where we have um, discussed in psychological aspects. This is by uh, rating scale the prickle, prickle sensation has been uh, studied. So, eight different fibers have been selected with wide range of surface characteristics or wide range of the their bending characteristics, wide range of diameters. Okay. 
So, these are the uh, cotton, cashmere, linen, hemp, remy, jute, wool and cotton polyester. Most of them, the, all the fibers are natural fiber in nature except cotton polyester blended. So, this natural fibers selected and same similar fabric were prepared with the similar yarn count, similar uh, weave pattern, similar mass everything uh, remains same. So, uh, the uh, similar production method has been uh, adopted. So, we have you, uh, the this fabrics have been uh, uh, produced and then subjective tests were carried out and these fabrics after preparation they have been conditioned, conditioned for 48 hours with the temperature of 20 plus minus 2 degree Celsius and uh, relative humidity of 65 plus minus 2 percent relative humidity. So, with this condition this uh, fabrics were kept. So, two for conditioning okay. so that they are they do not have any other impact of uh, environment. So, same condition. Now, the subjects are taken different uh, students were taken okay, and they are selected to part participate in the sensory uh, evaluation. They have been trained as uh, we have already discussed uh, for uh, how to evaluate this uh, um, sensation, this rating scale, how to get this rating scale, they have been trained and uh, it is well known in uh, physiology that different parts of the body gives different feeling of sensation. Okay. That is why all these fabrics were taken and the it was tested at different parts of the body. So, six different parts of the body selected. So, right forearm, back, neck, upper back, abdomen region, right side of the waist and inner right side of the thigh. So, inner right side of the thigh. So, these six places were selected for evaluation because for a particular fabric it was thought of that uh, okay, the uh, fabric may give a uh, particular prickle sensation in one place, it may give prickle sensation different prickle sensation in other places. To actually test these things diff six different places were um, uh, selected and we can see that nowhere it is a glabrous region, everywhere it is a there are hairy skins are there and where we normally get the prickle sensation. In total seven sensations were rated. So, this seven sensations were rated and the this uh, uh, rating scales were actually the uh, the subjects the, the here the students were taken the subjects were actually trained for this rating scales or diff, so seven rating scale they must clearly understand what does one mean what does seven mean okay each combination of test part okay and rating scale is described we will describe the different rating scale and six test for six body parts were recorded okay they have been trained and the they have been asked to give the rating now these are the different rating okay the ratings are one means no pricking there is no prick they should understand it's a there is no prick two is a very slight pricking sensation three slight pricking sensation fourth moderate pricking sensation fifth severe pre strong pricking sensation, very strong pricking and extremely strong pricking. So, this they have been asked, they have been trained uh, to understand these things and to make them more 
clear about this uh, that this tables were formed that this table was formed and they have been clearly trained for some time. So, one means no pricking at all what does it mean the fabric surface is soft smooth and comfortable when in contact with the body then you give one as sense. Okay. Very slight pricking means the fabric surface has few protruding fiber and scratches the human skin slightly in contact okay. that is very slightly pricking. Similarly, the slight pricking the pricking surface the fabric surface has got a lot of protruding fiber moderate pricking this intensity the fi at this intensity the fiber uh, fabric gives a little bit higher pricking sensation more number of pricking fibers are there. Similarly, strong pricking is that uh, slightly more uh, pricking sensation and uh, very strong pricking and, and coming to the extremely strong pricking sensation means the fabric evokes sensation of discomfort it will give extreme discomfort. Okay. The fabric surface is extremely rough stiff scratching the screen uh, skin at a, uh, a lot which is intolerable. So, this gives the extremely uh, strong pricking sensation and they have been trained. So, to give this sensation the test protocol is that it has the test is actually conducted in uh, 20 weeks time long time with the same subjects okay. and the prickleness test was divided into different uh, trials okay. different trial uh, and average has been taken and here as this uh, the six different stages uh, locations were tested separately they have not been tested based on the garment full garments were not tested it is a patch of fabric was taken. So, to avoid error the results from the subjects of psychological scale test that is a like standard protocols were followed and uh, the experts were trained for this to have to conduct this test. So, the subject is one part who will give the sensation, but the expert will actually who will conduct the test they should also have clear knowledge about the protocol. So, these protocols are uh, first is that the uh, how to get the fabric in contact with the particular part, how to get the fabric uh, move the fabric these are the uh, different strict protocol is there like uh, test protocol was conducted. Okay. So, uh, different trials were there the protocol is first is that the right hand moves the fabric sample with constant pressure back and forth. So, the particular that the may be by how other person or may be that particular person here that particular person moves the fabric right hand the uh, taking the fabric and move at a certain pressure he moves the fabric right fabric with the constant pressure back and forth. So, he will move uh, fabric and from right to left. So, right to left back and forth for 15 second after getting after moving he will sense the prickle sensation. Okay. The prickle sensation grade measurement was started after the fabric was placed on different subject body part one by one. So, it is not at that um, all the in all the body part at a time up one by one it gets uh, uh, they start uh, rubbing and then sense okay. the degree of prickle okay. they actually then they measure the degree of prickle sensation 1 to 7 scale and they are recorded okay. and the record made after the subjects were asked to fill the questionnaire by making comparative evaluation about the pricking comfort sensation okay, by the body stimuli. So, they are then after that 
they are asked to record these things. So, the wear fabric prickle score for uh, body parts. So, uh, relative 6 body parts were uh, taken, then the and from each part the 3 sensations were taken, 3 at 3 different times, 3 different tests were carried out and average so were taken. Okay. The average of sco average scores of 3 samples each. So, for a, for a particular fabric 3 patches were made. So, average of 3 prickle sensations were uh, taken and then the statistical uh, techniques were adopted okay mean standard deviation variance of prickle sensation were uh, taken and the results of all trials using the trained and experienced judges confirmed that the difference uh, different fabric gives different type of sensation and but the particular fabric gives uh, the sensation which is uh, almost same that means, the, the difference is insignificant for a particular type of fabric in a particular place. Okay. Now, it is interesting that the subjects were able to distinguish the different types of fabrics. They are able to distinguish the as far as the prickle sensation is concerned, okay. but they were not able to distinguish the cotton, cashmere and uh, cotton polyester fabric. It is uh, they have placed this all this uh, sensation in close range, but uh, the these are uh, uh, as these are significantly lower prickle sensation. So, cotton gives cotton cashmere and cotton polyester gives significantly lower uh, prickle sensation, okay. whereas that means it is uh, becomes 1, 2 like that okay, range. But particularly wool, remy and jute uh, fabric, they gives very high prickle sensation. So, these are obvious that due to the presence of stiffer fiber, okay, projected fiber. So, we can see this, uh, this by this picture here, this, this fabrics, this four fabrics gives relatively high prickle sensation that is this uh, highest prickle sensation is the jute fabric. The jute fabric gives highest prickle sensation followed by the wool fabric. The green one is wool fabric gives a little bit lower, but it also gives a very high prickle sensation. Then it comes a remy and after that it is a hemp fiber. All these fibers are uh, uh, they give higher prickle sensation and whereas, the this uh, cashmere cotton okay this type like uh, cashmere polyester uh, cotton polyester and also linen fiber so this fiber gives this fibers they give lower prickle sensation and it has been observed that this prickle sensations are due to the projecting fiber and the hard fiber basically that's a uh, stiffer fiber so so a statistical analysis they have uh, carried out and uh, which gives the detailed information about the prickle sensation. Okay. So, prickle score of each fabric uh, of at different parts. So, what we can see at different parts of the body the difference is not that, but if we see different fabric it gives that means, the say jute fabric it gives prickle sensation throughout our body it gives. Similarly, cotton gives soft sensation throughout our body. Okay. This is the. So, this is the conclusion. So, cotton cashmere cotton polyester fabrics were significantly less prickly sensation. Remy wool and jute fabric. Okay. So, they are giving high prickle sensation. Now, we will discuss the fabric itching sensation. So, as we have discussed the itching sensation is actually it is evoked by the pain sensor. Okay. So, itching can be de uh, defined as the unpleasant cuteness sensation which provokes desire to scratch that is a itching sensation and it is 
uh, related with the peripheral nerve system okay. and the sensors okay, the receptors it is found only in the top two layers of the epidermis, the epidermis and epidermal dermal transition layer. So, in this layer the itching sensation that uh, sensor for itching sensation that is free nerve ends are present and the itching sensation it is it originates by different types of stimuli. The stimuli are mechanical stimuli. So, we can have uh, like a pricking sensation and we get uh, start uh, itching sensation. It, is, it may be due to the chemical uh, uh, stimuli, uh, thermal stimuli and electrical stimuli. So, all these things uh, gives the itching sensation. Suppose a fabric is uh, not giving prickle sensation, it is uh, with a cotton we are we, as we have this seen earlier. So, for cotton fabric, but if we treat the cotton fabric with some chemical which actually sends signal to the chemical receptors or uh, this type of nerve endings that will start uh, feeling itching sensation. It is not the uh, direct related. So, mechanical receptors are related with the prick sensation, but chemical sensation chemicals some chemical receptors uh, which uh, stimuli gives also itching sensation due to the chemical receptors they receive this uh, sensation okay. like thermal receptor at very hot temperature we can we can get the itching sensation even with the electrical stimulus we can get itching sensation. Okay. So, normally each sensation as we have discussed that it is a superficial pain fibers and uh, the pain receptors respond for itching may be of different type than those of prickle sensation. Sometimes this pain receptors they give they start immediately uh, scratching sensation. Okay. So, this uh, and the sensors of each and pain are generally considered to be dependent on each other. So, the, the prickle and each can be a major detrimental factor for a person that is why they do not use the wool or acrylic fiber oh, okay. or some other fibers they cannot use this fiber comfortably. So, if my uh, skin is very uh, sensitive I cannot wear uh, wool I can you cannot use wool directly on my skin. Okay. So, the skin irritation on wearing wool garment directly on the skin has long been actually assumed that it is a allergy, but it is not allergy it is provoked by the prickle sensation because very few people have truly allergy to the wool. Okay. So, it is generally the mechanical uh, receptors mechanical uh, mechanics of the fiber which gives the which irritates the skin. Okay. What are the mechanics of the fiber? It is actually the bending rigidity of the fiber or it is a, a, a projected end this gives the irritation. So, people with sensitizing skin conditions are already more susceptible to discomfort from wearing clothing against their skin made up of this material wool. very sensitive skin they cannot they will start immediately will start prickle then will start itching. So, the pain receptors in the skin are mainly responsible for prickle sensation during wearing of garment made of wool and other fibers and the each and prickle sensation can also be dependent on the skin thickness. So, the thinner skin will give more actually sense it is a more sensitive towards the the itching sensation or even prickle sensation. So, age young person have thinner skin. So, they may sometimes feel more itching sensation or prickle sensation temperature. 
So, itching sensation increases with the temperature as we have discussed, we have seen the prickle sensation. So, moisture content in this, uh, the itching sensation is more in moist and humid condition, moist uh, skin as far as the uh, mechanical receptors are concerned, but chemical receptors it may not have may not need the humid uh, humidity in the skin. Okay. So, apart from these factors the type of factor which is very important physical characteristics of fiber like fiber, fiber length. So, a particular fiber may give itching or prickle sensation, but if we increase the length of the fiber then itching sensation or prickle sensation will drop. One simple example if we take the example of wool, if we take wool fiber normal directly if we produce yarn the it will it may give the prickle sensation and itching sensation. But if we remove the short fibers from the wool by combing only keeping the longer fibers that will not give the prickle sensation. Best example is the woolen spinning and oarsted spinning. In woolen spinning we directly use the short fibers and coarser yarns are produced and that gives a prickle sensation, itching sensation like coarser wool. Similarly, for oarsted fabric, oarsted garment it does it, it takes care of a longer fiber gives the uh, relatively softer feeling. We do not feel itching or prickle sensation. Similarly, diameter of uh, wool fiber. So, diameter means fine wool fiber means it gives the uh, flexibility, it is a bending rigidity of fine wool fiber is much less okay, than the coarse wool fiber. So, coarse wool fiber it is uh, if we use it actually it is due to its higher bending rigidity it penetrates inside the skin and gives prickle sensation. So, for to avoid to develop a fabric comfortable fabric as far as a prickle or itchiness is concerned we have to take care of the fiber physical characteristics. So, this is the physical characteristics it is a, it is a very important. Then say uh, for example, shorter fibers generates the perception of prickle as there are more fiber ends in the fiber shorter fiber if there are uh, shorter fibers the more number of fiber ends will also be there number of fiber ends. So, it will give uh, the prickle sensation. Okay. Similarly, coarser fiber will give prickle sensation due to higher bending rigidity. So, next comes the skin rashes, skin rashes are actually related with the itching sensation. So, it is a localized skin readiness, okay. localized skin irritation, it is a occurs in the small portion of the skin. Okay. Garments with prickle and each sensation are one of the most important causes of skin rashes. Okay. So, to avoid skin rashes we have to first take care of the, the fabric should not prickle or it should not give the itching sensation. So, this uh, the mechanical stimulation of skin receptors from uh, the prickly fiber are the main causes of the garment related skin rashes. So, these are interrelated okay. the problem with the mechanical mechanism of skin rashes due to the prickle and each are known as action reflex. So, the, this normally which is a response brought on by peripheral nerve stimulation. So, peripheral nerves again it comes into picture. Okay. The rashes due to clothing may occur very rapidly within a minute, it, it may occur depending on the type of fiber used, it may occur immediately or it may take some time, it may after, uh, after hours it, it generates okay, depending on the type of fiber okay, and can be relieved quickly when the fiber the fabric cloth is actually taken out. So, that 
So, it uh, uh, directly related with the type of fabric okay. and but in case of garment the garment is in contact with the skin for very long time it may result severe reaction. So, as soon as our uh, fabric starts giving skin rashes we should remove the uh, fabric. So, that otherwise it will damage the uh, skin okay. for we should avoid wearing that type of cloth for long time. Then comes another uh, garment related sensation which is important touch and pressure related sensation. So, what we have initially discussed wear related sensation, then prickle uh, rash uh, related sensation, itching related sensation and then comes the touch and pressure related sensation. So, human body can evoke the sensation of touch and pressure at any point of the surface after wearing cloth because fabric is not. So, touch means at the receptors which actually sense the, the light touch. Okay. So, when we wear cloth our body the cloth is in touch with the body we get sensation. Okay. So, one as we have discussed it, it varies uh, from one, one region to another region depending on the type of sensors available in that uh, zone. Okay. The process uh, fabric and skin contact is of actually is that the clothing exerts pressure on the body on the skin and uh, triggers mechanic receptors by dynamic mechanical stimuli. So, when we uh, move that it triggers the mechanical receptors. So, of, uh, of touch and pressure and generates touch and pressure sensation. So, clothing in a body it actually sends uh, signal through the mechanical receptors. It exerts pressure triggers uh, mechanical receptors by dynamic uh, mechanical stimuli when we move and then generates touch and pressure sensation. So, these sensations are different at different zone depending on the level of touch level of contact point okay. and uh, these mechanical receptors are re responsible for touch and pressures are sensitive to stimuli that distort their cell membrane. So, this we have discussed and these uh, receptors after distortion they sense uh, some chemical sensation. Okay. So, uh, certain mechanically regulated ion channels okay, which opens and close okay, in the response of mechanical actions in the skin. So, that gives uh, signal. So, the mechanical receptors which are responsible for touch and pressure that we have discussed tactile responses receptors free nerve bending, hair uh, follicle uh, nerve bendings are there. Merkel disc, see all these uh, tactile responses says are uh, tactile uh, receptors are responsible for uh, these uh, sensations and another sensors which we have not discussed yet it is a baroreceptors. These are actually present in the blood vessel with the flow of blood due to the pressure blood pressure it also gets signal. So, depending on the different uh, pressure level. So, flowing uh, when this mechanical receptor detects the pressure of flowing blood through them and controls the blood pressure. Okay. This baroreceptors are also responsible for uh, this uh, touch a sensation and this tactile receptors provide a sensation of touch pressure and vibration we have discussed and it actually it gives the fine touch and coarse touch that are two types of touches are there. One is the fine touch is that which is basically these are the receptors which are extremely sensitive receptors and they can actually work in relatively narrow field of sensitivity. With what does it mean? Even a small change in pressure this uh, fine touch that uh, sensors will act okay, and gives information and another is that that is a rough touch which actually these receptors provide poor localized uh, information. Okay. Local, uh, poor localized information means it cannot differentiate okay, the sensation. Two types of sensors are there 
and the baroreceptors I have, I have discussed it um, changes with the pressure applied. Okay. It monitors the pressure uh, change in pressure uh, applied when body movement. So, one is pressure sensor is there another is change in pressure. So, when our body moves so that is a clothing gives gives different types of sensor. Suppose, it uh, when it I am moving so the pressure here exerted by my cloth is gradually increasing and decreasing. This change in pressure sensation is provided by baroreceptors okay. and these are free nerve ends during activity. So, it, it gives signal only during activity okay, of clothing and it stretches requires the tissue oil. So, when activity or pressure clothing imparts different types of pressure, pressure keeps on changing and it gives signal. Okay. So, touch and pressure sensor the uh, information is then transmitted to the brain. So, these are all about the touch and pressure sensor and roughness and scratchiness that these are related to the different types of sensors the way fabric moves over the body. So, if the fabric is rough enough and if it moves through the body, then it will give the uh, roughness sensor or scratchiness sensor. It get body gets some readiness will uh, take place, but same fabric if it does not move will not give our scratchiness. So, for scratchiness or uh, roughness uh, characteristics the important part is that the fabric has to move then only we will get uh, scratchiness and the fabric surface has to be rough. So, if a fabric, so if a fabric is uh, smooth enough, even if it is um, uh, during activity it moves throughout the body, it will not give us the uh, roughness or scratchiness sensation. Okay. So, and it actually this is actually uh, it uh, displaced the skin. So, if it is rough the friction between the skin and the fabric is high, then it will start displacing the um, skin and we will get the roughness or scratchiness sensation. The higher fabric to skin friction will give more abrasion. So, this is all about the thermo uh, mechanical uh, receptor and uh, different types of we have discussed different types of mechanical stimulation when uh, during uh, clothing. Now, we will start the thermal receptors which is related to the cold and uh, hot type of receptors and we will do it in next class. Thank you.